Welcome back to Blue Skies, Broadway.com viewers. Welcome to my dressing room where I am getting ready for our very first show. I've got my tea, I am warming up my voce, I am warming up my body, I am nervous, but I'm excited. Guys, it's the first show. It's our very first preview. It's happening, how's everybody doing? Hey! First show, first show. Ah! It's crazy! There's an audience out there. This is happening. Ready or not, here we go. Smile. We're in the middle of the show. Happy first preview. Happy first. We're in the middle of it. It's happening. We just finished act one. Or not act one, the first number. I'm like, we're already done. With act one, we're on. We're amazing. So we just finished our very first preview. And you can see I am soaking wet. I am like, I am just a wet rat. It was awesome though. The audience was so fantastic. Everybody seemed like they had such a blast on stage. And uh, let's do it again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and eight times a week until at least the new year. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in the middle of our fourth preview. It is our first matinee. We're having a great time. I wanted to show you guys what I do during this moment in the show. I have a very long break in between the first act. And um, I usually like to go up a secret passageway to go and hang out with uh, the guys that work at the light booth. Check it out. So first I make my way up this ladder. Literally above the audience right now. See this big white thing? That is the dome to the theater. I'm literally standing above all the audience members right now. I'm gonna go check out Shaking the Blues Away. my way back to my dressing room after having just visited everybody in the light booth. I just had to show you guys this too. Check out the disco ball that's above the dome. So cool. There's so much hidden just secrets up here. Hey guys, I am here with Lee Wilkoff and Megan Lawrence and we just finished our first week of previews. We are officially a week in. Yay! We got it. Thank God. I think I think today felt pretty today good. Today was good. Today yeah. I think everybody kind of uh Started to just you know a little relaxation, and that goes a long way. It really does. Yeah, yeah. It does. I think really people does. weren't like struggling to. What do we do next? What do I, right? Until Tuesday comes along and they change yeah. the entire yeah. show yeah. on yeah. us, yeah. and uh, we'll happens. have a whole new show yeah. to do. Yeah. Tuesday's That'll a whole fun. other animal. Anyway, so, <laughs> even without that, I felt so. like it was sort of like in the pocket because we were all kind of mm -hmm. like we got it one and done, we got to get her done. You know? I felt like I had fun you. today. Yeah. I didn't yeah. feel like I was up there going, what's what's happening, what's happening, what, what, what are we going to do? I actually like, got to like just live and enjoy. And, like, no, that's true. Like I actually ran off stage and knew where to go. And that's true. <laughs> you know? Well, we've had one week so far, and of course it's been a crazy week. What Has there been any faux pas thus far this week that you just have really stuck out to you? Well, today, um, <laughs> my first entrance, I walk on stage and I basically say, what happened to my curtains? Because this whole curtain thing falls and they never fell. So it was just like something little like that where you're just like, you walk on stage and you're like, oh, that's okay. You know, it's like little things like that. We're just working out the little... The kinks. The kinks, you, you know? what's funny is I, those curtains usually come down and then the curtain closes and I have uh, heat, my entrance for, for heat, heat wave. wave. Yeah. So I was getting ready to enter heat wave. I'm standing there, I'm like ready, 
and stagehand comes on and starts ripping the curtains down right in front of me, and I was like, I need to, I need to go right now, and they're trying to get it oh, out. Oh, and they're huge. They're no, huge. Head, no, yeah. nope, nothing, nothing. Please. Please. Lee Wilcoff is always perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not perfect. Lee Wilcoff. My lines are. Ne I, I don't think I said one line right. I want to know who are, who were your Broadway inspirations growing up? When I was a kid, not a kid, when I realized that I wanted to be in the business, and that was not as a kid, I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't know I was coming to New York till I was like in my senior year of college. I wanted to be Jack Weston. You guys even know who Jack Weston is? I don't. I wanted to be Jack Okay, I'm happy I'm not the only one. Who's no. Jack Weston? Well, you know, I can't describe who Jack Weston is. He was on TV shows and movies. And if you'd see him, maybe you wouldn't even know him. He was like, he worked a lot. And I just, I just, I just thought, that's, that's somebody that I really admire. I don't know. I, I grew up listening to, I, I grew up listening to, uh, like, my dad had bought me, like, The Wiz, and, like, we, the first show I remember seeing was Dreamgirls, like, really in reality, and so I really think I was... The first show you saw? Well, yeah, that I had this, like, that had a reaction to. I remember seeing The Wiz, or, like, seeing... I just think I... I thought I was gonna grow up and be a, a, a big black woman. And that <laughs> just, be, what's her name? Jennifer Holland. Yeah, and that just never happened for me. I'm still, you know. Well, guys, they're gonna cut all this. this Megan Lawrence hey, and Lee Wilcoff, you. two very, very funny people. Come and see them in Holiday Inn. Woo! Later. Well, it has been one heck of a week here at Studio 54. An amazing first week of previews. I think we have a show on our hands. Join me next week, and until then, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Fourth of July, and uh, did I miss one? Oh yeah, Happy Easter. Bye!